Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am Caleb and I use he, they pronouns and today is the fourth day of Kwanzaa, uh, which is uh, when we celebrate the principle of Ujima, Ujima, to not be confused with Ujima, which is yesterday. I will link yesterday's video in the cards or in the description below. Um, but Ujima uh, focuses on cooperative economics. And now this, um, like description it's giving like black cis straight man energy um and so <laughs> improper caleb queer trans fashion and in accordance with how i've been approaching these topics um i'm bringing you a trans <laughs> uh book uh written by a trans person of color um i'm actually pretty sure one second ah yes okay so yes janet mock is a black uh trans woman but also uh she is a portuguese descent and asian descent and native hawaiian descent so yeah a black um but also like other she also holds other identities um as well so yeah uh the book that i chose for today is redefining realness by janet mock um i first let's jump into the um part of the book that i would like to read i i wrote this down this is dedication i listened to this book on audiobook um and then i re-requested the audiobook to grab a little like excerpt from the book and i wrote it down um, because this is the part that I feel like really represents uh, today's principle. Starting now. <laughs> After I jumped in one man's car, jumping in another wasn't anything of note. The cars of strangers became my evening cubicle, my first office of sorts. Serving men and taking their money were the only requirements of the job, and I was a natural. Um, jumping like a paragraph later. Whether we were parked on a nearby lot or on a dark tree-lined residential street. The men were all the same. Some were gross, some were not. Attractiveness was irrelevant. All I cared about was that they were respectful, clean, and had the cash in hand. Time was money, and all the money we made was ours. We spent it on necessities, from rent to car payments to food, clothes, hormones, and surgeries. None of us had a pimp to, for protection. We didn't need a man because we looked out for one another. It was the women on Merchants, Merchant Street, uh, who taught me the lube and condom trick, who made, me, who made sure my purse was filled with condoms, who whistled, who whistled when an under, undercover cop was stopping for a girl, who rounded us up when outreach workers were on the block testing for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. Um, I had a hard time reading my own handwriting. Um, but also I should include that this book um, is a memoir and it's not just a memoir that focuses on Janet Mock's um, like experience as a, se as a sex worker. Um, it also highlights like <laughs> the rest of her life and I don't want to like reduce black trans women to sex work. Um, just this uh, principle f for today reminded me of like this book and this particular part of the book because it was the first time that I ever like read about sex work from a like black trans person um and now I do follow like sex educators and sex workers on Instagram um which I'll link in the description below if you're interested in that I'll also put like I'll like to note if it's um if their content is more um mature yeah <laughs> in the description below as well um but i just feel like how she described the community of trans women who were there for her and who sort of guided her and acted as like aunties or like um like older siblings to her like 
that is what I imagine um, this whole cooperative economics to be. Um, yes, it is also like buying black um, and, you know, like supporting uh, small black businesses and stuff like that. But I feel like the resiliency within the trans community is like a perfect example of trying to make sure that the community is taken care of. And I see that so often even with um, like the Okra Project, for example, um, which is, I believe, based in Philly. Um, I will also link this in the, in the description below, but the Okra Project advocates uh, for like healing of black trans uh, individuals, specifically through like feeding us. Um, and so they partnered with like Uber Eats and have distributed um, like Uber Eats vouchers to trans folks. Um, there's so many, so many other orgs, Uber, uh, like the Ogre Project and their partnership with Uber Eats just came to mind first. Um, but yeah, this like sense of community and sense of like taking care of one, an one another despite the circumstances um, is, is definitely uh, reflective of this principle for today. So that is my, um, suggestion and I also have a video uh suggesting trans memoirs that y'all should check out if you are into memoirs um I love memoirs I love uh whenever authors like share their story and I relate and resonate with that even if I don't necessarily like relate to their individual experiences I just enjoy um hearing other people's stories and like life advice um because you know you only know however much you know like you don't know what you don't know so and that's on rambling. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I just enjoy memoirs and that is, that's what reignited my like love of reading. So yeah, I will leave you with these other two quotes. My presence as a 15 year old trans girl must have been radical to many, but to me, it was truth. And that was from chapter 11. Um, I'm trying really hard to not make this be a book review video um, and even upon like thinking about this video I was like why haven't I why didn't I do a book review but I remember like I read this like again early in the pandemic and like depression was real and like it was just a hard time in general <laughs> um, so I, I more so picked up this book for encouragement um, and it came off the um, like what is it called overdrive um, waitlist or whatever so I was really excited to read it. Um, but this is going to be one of those books I reread in 2021 and come out with a come out <laughs> and come out with a uh, book review for it. Um, I feel like it's it's kind of weird to do book reviews for memoirs, but I feel like this is a memoir that touches on so many topics and such a um, like topics that aren't just like black and white. And I feel like she really deals with the complexity of multiple issues that trans people deal with in such a like inspiring and like well thought out well well thought out manner um so yeah that's my video for today um oh if <laughs> you are here on day four um thank you uh please subscribe to my channel like this video um it really helps me out i will leave you with um Oh, I have to change my car battery. So leave a car emoji if you've gotten to the end of this video um, and wish me luck on changing my battery. I know it's not that complicated, but when you have a BMW, it's like more complicated because, you know, European cars are just one expensive and two just like unnecessarily, but I kind of like it. I'm, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so, all right. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>